he comes off very appealing, very charismatic, but it's all a game. Darlene Heimerl says Kenneth Stevens drove her into bankruptcy. Right there is $10,500 in seven days. She invested $90,000 from her retirement account to become Stevens' partner in Chef Ken's Smokehouse Barbecue Restaurant. Heimerl says Stevens then used her credit information to obtain corporate credit cards, which he promised in a business contract to repay with restaurant proceeds. Within a very short period of time, uh, he maxed them all out. Uh, he had taken cash advances on all the credit cards, and there's nine of them out there. Stevens ran up $190,000 in credit card debt in a matter of months. Some charges were for his personal expenses. Carabas at $92, and then another one at $122, and then a wheel tech for $667. And there were catering charges. $2,600, $2,694. $29.50. From their own restaurant. He's billing for bogus catering jobs. Correct. To your cards, taking the cash out. Yeah, but it goes directly, obviously, to the credit card, so it's gone directly into his, um, his account. But while credit card balances grew, employees say the restaurant was struggling. We didn't order food. I had to go get it from grocery stores. The store's manager says wholesale food services wouldn't do business with Stevens because he didn't pay his bills in the past. So if a customer came and bought a $40 order, I would take that $40 and go buy sausage or brisket or whatever I could get. Employee Cheryl Johnston quit Chef Ken's after her $400 paycheck bounced. I got a letter in the mail from Ann Scott saying that since I had endorsed the check, I was the one who needed to pay for the bounce check. She recorded a conversation she had with Stevens after she reported him for possible labor violations. That's up, you know that? That's up. So I'm going to have to say to you. So you're checking in that, so get the out of my store. At the same time he opened the Newport Ritchie location, Stevens also opened a restaurant here across the street from Bay Pines Hospital. And he opened yet another Chef Ken Smokehouse Barbecue here in Bradenton, but both those locations have already gone out of business. We tried to talk to Stevens at the Newport Ritchie store. Uh, is Ken around? No. Yeah, not. we wouldn't. I'm Adam, you know me. Okay. Uh, we want to talk to you about oh, what's know. going on. Hold on, hold on. Kenneth Stevens hid in the back, but his wife, Christiane, who is listed as a restaurant's owner on state registration documents, talked to us. This is all business partners. They don't did nothing what they're supposed to do. The Stevens blamed partners for dozens of failed businesses in the past. Court records show that he owes hundreds of thousands of dollars to landlords, vendors, and the IRS from previous restaurant ventures. $21,000, and not one dime of it back. Kevin Ferlita invested in four restaurants in 2014, which all closed within weeks of opening. He went to police alleging Stevens misled investors, but the state declined to prosecute. Sir, you're opening a new business here. No, no, no. In 2015, Stevens opened a bakery with backing from new investors. What if he's turned over a new leaf? I have a feeling that he's adding more leaves to the tree. You owe people so much no, money. No, 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 come on, get out. That restaurant also closed within months. I don't want to talk to you, okay? So we better get out of my property. I'm going to call somebody. Christiane Stevens called the sheriff on us, even though we left when she told us to. Do I think he belongs in handcuffs? Absolutely. Heimerl has reported Stevens to law enforcement, and the Florida Department of Financial Services is investigating. Heimerl is hoping this time prosecutors will consider what happened to her more than just a failed business deal. Justice has to happen somewhere here, because if, 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 if it's not me and these other people, he's going to do it again. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.